Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Today, guys, we have another Injustice 2 video to check out, except this is a little bit different. This is not another Shattered Alliance video where they showcase more of the story, or another introduction video where they focus on one particular character, show some gameplay of that character. This is different because this trailer is going to reveal to us the first three DLC characters we'll be able to play as in Injustice 2. Now, I believe they have confirmed we are getting nine DLC characters, and this is the first three. Now, I don't know when this is going to get released. I don't know. I don't know anything. Because once the trailer dropped, I got off Twitter. Now, I got back on Twitter when I was supposed to be off Twitter, but I was just going on Twitter and going to send a tweet, and that's it. I wasn't looking at anything else. So I don't know who's going to be shown in this. I don't know. I was really good. I'm so happy I wasn't spoiled. So... Without further ado, let's get into it now. Injustice 2 Fighter Pack number one. Let's see who they show off. I've been hearing rumors and theories for a long time of who they could be adding and who they've been teasing or something, but I don't want to say any names. I don't want to jinx it. So, anyways, let's get into it. Let's see who they show us. Let's go. Oh boy. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited as fuck. Oh. Okay. They got to start off with a bang, right? You would think. Who knows? I might be saying the, saving the best for last. Mm. Hmm. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait. Ooh! Starfire! Like the design. Sub-Zero! Okay. My favorite Mortal Kombat character. I'm digging that. Is that who I think it is? Yes! Yes! They did it. They fucking did it. They fucking did it. Okay. Okay. Wow. Sub-Zero's design is kind of cool. Oh, so, oh. Silhouettes, what? Silhouettes. Wait. Okay, it's, it's ran out. Okay, I'm gonna go back, hold on. Back out. Come on, I want to see these silhouettes again. Okay. On the right side, I can't tell the other two, but the one in the middle looks like Raiden. Yeah, that's, not, yeah, that's probably Raiden. Black Manta on the on the left side. That's got to be Black Manta. Don't know the other two, but uh, okay. <laughs> I said they they need to start off with the bang, and I think they did. Okay, I'm liking this. I will say this, though. I will say this, um, and this is nothing against the studio or the Mortal Kombat games. I love the Mortal Kombat games. Played them since I was little when I wasn't supposed to, but I was playing them when I was little. I kind of wish they would not add Mortal Kombat characters into DC-centric... Like, look, I know, they did. Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, or whatever they called it. Um, and that was a mixture of both worlds, okay? I get it. However, this is a DC-centric, you know, game. Like, I know it's made by the same studio who creates... It's NetherRealm. It's the same studio that creates Mortal Kombat. I get it. I just kind of wish that... Instead of Sub-Zero, have another DC character. Like, have no Mortal Kombat characters involved. Just have all DC characters. That's how I would see it. But that's just me. Maybe some of you think that this is cool because... We'll be able to play as an updated version of these characters because the last game we had in Mortal Kombat was a couple years ago. We're able to play uh, Sub Zero. I was at Cyborg or something. Sub Zero, a couple years later in this game. So, I mean, I guess it's for the Mortal Kombat people so they can still play as them, but I kind of wish it was just an all DC. But that's just me, you know. It was cool that Scorpion was included as DLC for Injustice Gods Among Us, but kind of wish it was just another DC character. But, anyways, off that. I'm so excited. I mean, like I said, he's my favorite Mortal Kombat character, so I shouldn't really complain, but I just wish it was all DC. But, anyways, I'm rambling. So, Starfire, which has been rumored for a while, and Red Hood, which has been rumored for a while as well. I don't know if Sub-Zero has been talked about, because mostly the rumors and theories were mostly just surrounding DC characters that they could add as DLC. But, um, Red Hood, I mean, that, that is so good, because it's, it's been, the fans have been begging, begging for Red Hood. And they actually did it. He's not a premium skin for a character. He is his own character. Awesome fucking shit. Starfire, love that choice. I love the Teen Titans. And I like her design, yes. She's older. We're used to seeing Starfire a little bit younger, at least drawn looking younger. 
um, mostly, but I like the design. I like it. It's a nice design. What else to say? Sub Zero, I like the design as well because like these spikes coming out of his shoulders. It's ice, obviously. It's pretty interesting. I'm curious. I'm cu but see, have they confirmed this? Now? I'm, I'm assuming it's. I'm assuming it's going to be in the game. You can customize the DLC characters, right? Like you're able to customize them and the whole gear system, like the other regular characters. I'm just assuming because it would make no sense to me if you would add a DLC character into a game that is so built around this gear system essentially that the DLC characters don't have that ability to access new items for their for the DLC characters I'm assuming it's in the game I'm just assuming but if not I mean okay but I really want to customize this my own Starfire and my own Sub-Zero and my own you know Red Hood especially so uh what do you guys think of the reveal of these three characters are you excited with these as the first three DLC characters um what do you think about this Raiden and Black Manta basically showing up later in the in the Injustice 2 game as DLC. Whatever thoughts you have about the game, this DLC pack, any thoughts you have, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out.